team wears a hat that's made out of felt. Okay? But that's too something that was probably made at home. Women did all sorts of decorative arts for example, embroidery, okay? And they were using a variety of sewing skills. And one of the things that's very common among women is sewing as a craft. And it was probably the most important craft that a woman would do. Okay, the reason being that there weren't any stores. You couldn't go to the store and buy a dress. You couldn't go to the store and buy trousers or a shirt. Okay? So basically, almost everything that was worn by the family was sewn by women. Okay? And women learned to sew when they started about four years old. So by the time they were eight or nine, every young girl could sew extremely well. And what they generally did was sew what was called a sampler. This is a sampler that was made by a young girl who was eight years old. We have one upstairs that's about this high, okay? done by a cousin of the Stevensons, uh, who was nine or ten years old uh, when she did it. Now, a sampler shows every, everybody that you were an accomplished young lady who could do all sorts of different kinds of stitches, okay? And you use different stitches for kinds of uh, everything, okay? Now, one of the things that you had to be really good at uh, to find a husband was sewing, okay? So this was kind of a, an advertisement saying, I'd be a pretty good bride because I can sew, okay? So it was really an important kind of thing. Now, they made all sorts of things with sewing. This would be, for example, a wallet for Benjamin Stevenson, and it's made out of fabric that is sewn on the front. It's called chain stitching. It's a very unusual kind of uh, stitching, and it's somebody who had to be really, really good. So every young girl would have to learn how to do sewing. Yeah. sewing machines were a real revolution, but there weren't any sewing machines in 1820. Everything had to be done by hand. So that made it really important for a young girl to learn how to do all those kinds of things. Okay? So sewing was a really important kind of craft. Now men had different kinds of crafts. For example, they made things with their hands that were used for utilitarian purposes. For example, they call it fill this up with powder, put it over your neck, and then when you were ready to, to shoot, you had to pour the gunpowder down the, the uh, barrel of the gun, okay? Now, these are made by hand by craftsmen who had to do all this work. They had to carve the end caps, they had to carve the end, the spout and the stopper, 
okay? And then they went beyond that, and if you look at them, they decorated them in a way that's called scrimshaw, the same thing that sailors used to do on whale's teeth, okay? And some of the people who did it were really good artists. For example, on this one, you can see a deer and a bear and a squirrel and a fox and a rabbit, okay, and a snapping turtle, okay, all right. Now this person was a really, really good artist, okay. But what else do you know about him? What is that? <laughs> okay. How do you spell bear? B-E-R-E-R-E. E. <laughs> okay. This guy was a real good artist, but he wouldn't spit. He couldn't spell. Okay, that's a bar. Okay, that's a squirrel. Okay, it's only got one arm. Okay, uh, that's a rabbit. R a b i t. That's a rabbit. Okay, so he couldn't spell. Okay, but he was a really, really good artist. Okay. So they made beautiful things that were done for utilitarian purposes. You guys want to pass that around and look at it going in. They also made many things that were utilitarian using everything that was available. Things that were normally available around the house. For example, here's something else made out of horn. Um, what would people do for their free time in 1820? For what? For their free time. Just free time. That's what they did in their free time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so they didn't have television. They didn't have the internet. They didn't have all those things. So as a consequence, they did this in their free time. And they did things that were very useful. This is a cup made out of a horn. Okay. How about a spoon made out of a horn? Okay. The Indians made those out of buffalo horns. Okay. How about a comb made out of horn? Okay. And these could be made out of horn, but they could also be made out of turtle shells. Okay. And this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's a hair comb. Okay. And it was very decorative, okay. But it was also used for uh, utilitarian purposes. They also made things out of bone. Very coat bone was very common. Right? For example, a little thing made out of bone as a container. Yes. Um, didn't they also <laughs> make <laughs> 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 Um, 
yeah, but it's made out of corn. And corn was the plastic of 1820. Okay? They didn't have plastic, but they could use horns the same way we used. Whoops. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Is, is that like a horn to call like? No, you can't blow on it. It's solid. Okay? Very quickly, I'm going to pass this around. Take about two seconds to look at it and figure out what it is. He didn't see the cylinder. Um, it, isn't it used for like grinding or something? No. Okay. We didn't see the cylinder. Pass it around. Real quick. Okay. We didn't see the cylinder. Is that a bobber? Is it for fishing? Or fishing? Yeah. Okay. Some people think it might be a lure for fishing. Okay? That's kind of what it looks like. But it doesn't have any hooks. Okay? It looks like a whale. It looks like a whale, that's for sure. Right. Okay, do you guys back here see it? Take a quick look. All right. now, I didn't give you a lot of time to look at it. All right. Now, the one thing when I passed around is you all looked at it, but you didn't try to do anything with it. Okay. Can't blow on it, doesn't work. Okay. You can't use it to hit somebody. <laughs> not big enough. Okay. Right. But the one thing you didn't try. It's a container. It holds gunpowder, extra gunpowder, or water. It'd be too small to drink. Okay. Women used it to store their sewing needles. Okay. So it's a it's a needle case. Okay. But somebody went to an awful lot of trouble to do something that was artistic just to, to put needles in, okay? Yeah. Okay. Now, there were also other kinds of crafts that are less artistic but were very important. For example, Small canoe, okay. No. Uh, how many of you have done laundry out here? Oh, oh yeah. it's uh, yeah, yeah, you had to stir your laundry, okay? And somebody had to carve that, okay? Yeah. 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 Okay. Now, if you had to have a hatchet, you'd probably go to a blacksmith because most people couldn't. Do Smith, but you had to have a handle, and people, craftsmen, would carve their own handles. Okay, yes. Um, two things. That paddle, I thought it, for a second it was games and you were being bad. <laughs> <laughs> and second of all, are you gonna pass around the internet? Well, you know, actually, <laughs> it's mostly for. <laughs> stirring the laundry, but if you were not good at laundry, you could use the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So the idea of a paddle has changed over the years. <laughs> now, there are also crafts that are not terribly artistic, but were very, very important. For example, Oh, it's something used for 
horses. I've seen them over fish. Okay, all sorts of things like that. Okay, we're, we're out of time. Sorry.